last time let me show you how I work with Sanskrit OCR so let's say we have some Devanagari text and we have the paid version of Oliver's Sanskrit OCR so this is not that the free demo there is a demo and there was a free version years ago but it's not as good as the new one I wouldn't spend even your time dealing with the free one the accuracy rate is not much higher but you can work with batches now that's the most important thing you don't work with one page at a time and that matters so what do you do you can uh, oh, the images uh, let's try this Ayurvedic Shabda Kosha maybe a few pages like let's have from the middle a few pages from the middle Pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Recognize all pages. The scan is of middle quality. It's not good for OCRing. Let us see what comes out. It was scanned as a uh, as a color image. It should have been scanned as a grayscale image with a 450 DPI Orient 600. Then it wouldn't be hard to recognize 95-97% of the text correctly. You see, it's slow it's slow because not because the image is big or there are many letters uh, no there are many files with many letters many pages with many words mm, the file format is not very good the issue is I had to split my PDF file back to GP images just to, to open them you can't open a PDF file in Sanskrit OCR you have to split it before um, go through with the recognition and you glue it back again which is actually not very good because sometimes I would want to keep the names of the bookmarks there because sometimes the names of the bookmarks are based on, on the original names of the files but when I export GP files from Adobe PDF uh, then the original names are lost and so the bookmarks don't make any sense anyway but if I use a dictionary more than thousand pages I really need those bookmarks otherwise I waste time browsing on pages I should have not so adding an option to open a PDF like we have it in Abufine Reader would be a great step like in a half a year from now that would be great because I try to store and convert all my books to PDF. I, uh, I hate Deja Vu. Yes, it's small, but it's crippled. Um, so I store all of my books in PDFs, and if I have to convert them back to the images from which they consist, quality is lost, file names are lost. 
and uh, the file is actually this can be up to three times bigger than the initial file which is a big difference uh, if the file itself is a few hundred megabytes then it's a, it's a heavy load to have hundreds of such a files you cannot share them easily even on Dropbox because they are far too big So yesterday I tried to recognize the whole book. It took me about eight hours to recognize 1,020 pages, but exporting them to a PDF failed. Uh, I had not enough memory, so for DDR3 RAM was not enough for it. It died. Okay, let me see. that bad the numbers are bad dots are lost but it's not that bad okay let's just try to export save text all pages single PDF yes let's go for it um, Joshi 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 So when we have a small document, nothing should go wrong. PDF seems to be ready. I can search for example I can search for this word inside the file which means I can quickly browse there might be errors but if the word is short and you want to keep it short then you will find texts you would not otherwise so it has found everything it could so you, but you don't need actually to copy past every item just to to get the text behind it so this is a PDF it's good for great for reference so now I will be able to find for example words starting with this not actually starting it will it, it is not that smart it can't recognize where it starts or ends but you see it's rather good although the quality is not too high it's much better than most DLI books still it's not close to what it could be but it works okay so this is a PDF. This is a PDF. You can copy it to Word. Wherever. I love M Editor Text Editor because it's simple. It's not very good with Devanagari, you can see it, but it can work with all kinds of macros. So we've developed so for example dev to trans would give it runs and uh, trans to hacker would give um, hard kyoto okay let's see um, what 
what I can do as well is save it to save it to save it to a single text file which would mean RTF so it's it works with um, it works well with MS Word okay save and here we go you don't have to have Word 2007 it can be 2003 or 2010 or 2013 it doesn't matter RTF is something great it doesn't have all the formatting that docs have but it's a format easy to share okay open Joshi. here it is and you can start cleaning you can start cleaning it you can do whatever with it you want you, want, you, you do want to go up from mango Okay. So it's a Unicode text. It's a Unicode text, and you can do whatever you want to do with it. And what else? So you can batch import, and you can batch recognize and you can save the batch recognize text easily now this is new these functions were not there even a week ago so it's a good spend if you have to input at least a single boot book because otherwise you will spend time just doing monkey labor so this should have been a line but uh, it tries to find Devanagari here which is a strange thing it should not it shouldn't even try because there are many lines in Indian books it shouldn't be actually such an issue So the zoom is not remembered if you see I have zoomed in I have to zoom again okay Raja Masha it's okay the dots are okay yeah, the numbers are okay in the demo version you don't have this save recognized text button it's cut out from the code but without it it's useless so you can copy the text of the current page of all pages to a PDF or a text file and it's not only Devanagari it's yes hard Kyoto Dev is not a good solution but uh, some still use it Trends and wealth is they are dying out, but some scholars still like them. So you can save the text, it works well. You can train it, means it will take some time to recognize a new Devanagari font. But if the quality, I mean, if quality of the scan is good there will be no need but if there is a big book like more than thousand pages I guess you want to learn spend a week learning it train it and otherwise you will have to spend month cleaning it out so now you see you can click not only here but you can click and compare the 
that's about it. Um, what else? So you you do want to switch off from Mongol to at least Sanskrit to turn this three or you in better see the hunter. Uh, make it sixteen. Okay, so now it's much 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 better. The leaders are there as they should be. So you can save the text to PDF. Uh, you can get the text out from the PDF as well, but so PDF is for reference. You don't. You will never clean it out. If you want some clean text for printing purposes, you want to save it in an RTF file, a TXT file, which means that uh, formatting is lost, but the text is re retained. This works with Devanagari. This program is under development for many, many years. It's actually a good solution for recognizing Devanagari text and saving the Devanagari layer or the Devanagari output to a text document. I highly recommend it. There is no other solution which is as accurate as it as this. Believe me, I've spent nine years of my life testing all kinds of software linguistic software so I know what I I, I, <laughs> I speak about so it's great and it recognizes those literatures if you see which is not always easy Thanks for watching and hope you do come back. Namaste.